Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our FCS North Tournament. Today we've got the Duquesne Dukes traveling to Hamilton, New York to take on the Colgate Raiders. And the winner of this matchup will take on North Dakota State in round three. This is game one of round two and Hubbard is taking this up, up the sideline past the 40 inside the 35 yard line and Duquesne is in good shape already. And here is Perry, the tight end, on the catch. And he's going to dive in the end zone for the touchdown. Duquesne on top, 7 to nothing after a 27-yard touchdown pass. Let's see how Colgate responds to this play, which they somehow let the tight end get wide open here, and he burns a linebacker on the route. Very simple route. Great effort after the catch. I know those red socks and red shoe combo is a fan favorite. I know you guys love it. And here's Ross for Colgate looking to throw, and he is dropped. Now, this is the only game in this video. From here on out, we will just do a single game in each video, but I will be posting two videos of this tournament per week. So you'll get this one. This is Wednesday's video, and I will look to have the other one up Thursday. And we'll still have Mississippi State on Saturdays. I just wanted to try to split it up a little bit. And there's an interception by Melton on the side. And Ross giving chase brings him down inside the 20-yard line. But I just felt like I'd get more people involved if there was just single videos. Because not everybody sees all the team names when there's four teams in one video. So hopefully more people see the videos and get involved because I want you guys in the dynasty once we have our our other seven teams from the tournament so if you want to be a player on our teams you already have the five west coast teams in the in the dynasty there's another interception by Melton but we have our five teams from the west coast in the dynasty already go back and take a look at the first video in this playlist if you want to be on one of those teams let me know in the comment section below I will add you to the team and you'll be in the dynasty. And there's a touchdown by Duquesne as they go on up on top, 28 to nothing. Colgate is just not having any luck today as Ross is getting pressured all game. Finally connects with Martinez on a nice pass up towards midfield. And that is only his second completion of the game. Fourth and two, Ross gonna go for it here. Rolling right, waiting, throwing right, and there is Stewart. Down to the 23-yard line for the first down for Colgate. Duquesne only has six first downs, but they've got 28 points on the scoreboard. Colgate has zero. They're looking to get on the board here, though. Ross looking to set up a screen. Goes over the middle instead. There is Stewart inside the 10-yard line. Down to the 5-yard line first. And goal for Colgate upcoming. Pull back in motion. Walker with the handoff. And he is in for the touchdown. Finally. Getting on the scoreboard, 28 to 7. Only down three scores here. But Duquesne back on offense. Nice throw to Peoples. I'm not sure how he fit it in there. What a beautiful pass. And he gets it up past the 40 yard line of Colgate. And I'm not sure why he is upset with himself. That was a great play, young man. Morton pump fakes. Throws over the middle. There's Peoples again inside the 20, inside the red zone. Threatening to score again. Setting up the screen. Pittman, nice spin move. What a block, too. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown, Duquesne. Looking like they're going to run away with this one. 35-7 here in Hamilton, New York. I will have some other stadiums in this tournament. I can't remember if I put some in the second round here or if they're all in the third round games. But just some bigger stadiums to get some more fans in the stands for these small schools. Here's Hodge, one yard deep from his end zone. Nice blocking, going up the left sideline. Three blockers in front of him. He gets the blocks he needs. One man to beat, and he can't get by him. But it doesn't matter. There is a clipping call. Colgate will be dropped back to their own 32-yard line. Just another mistake here by Colgate as Ross looks to throw. Goes deep right side, wide open was Hodge who just had that big kick return. Not sure how he has any stamina left in him after that long play. But he gets it up to the 37 yard line, second and 10. Ross going deep left side, caught by Stewart inside the 15. Colgate threatening again, 
Only four seconds left in the half. Colgate would call a timeout here and send on the field goal unit for a 30 yard attempt. The kick is up and it is good. 35 to 10 is the score here in Hamilton, but there is time for one more play. Two seconds on the clock. Here is Hubbard from the goal line. Following blocks, and he gets them. One man to beat at the 45, and he somehow gets by him. Defender dove and miss. Hubbard is gone. Wow. But there is a late flag for clipping, and that will end the half. My goodness. Kick return for a touchdown called back. So that is two big kick returns in this game called back by penalties. And Colgate going deep first play. Stewart's got it. And he's past the 30 trying to break a tackle down the 25-yard line. High formation. Olsen up the gut. Big fullback breaking a tackle up to the 7-yard line. And what's good about having one game in a video, I can put a few extra plays in here like some big runs by the big fullbacks. There's some sacks here and there instead of just some long passes and long runs. And there was a nice screen pass set up for a touchdown for Colgate. As they close the gap to 18, it's 35 to 17. And there is a huge play to Hubbard up to the seven yard line. Duquesne just moving downfield at will. Beautiful throw and double coverage right there. Pittman on the counter and he walks into the end zone untouched. So there goes any hope for Colgate really. It is 42 to 17 here in the second half. Now in the fourth quarter, who came back on offense. Colgate went three and out. Nice run by Jackson, still fighting forward up to the two. And there is another clipping play, another clipping call, excuse me. That'll back them up to the 31 yard line instead of being on the one. So third and 15, they set up a screen to Hubbard, who is still going past the 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown Duquesne. Not sure how he got through there and got a touchdown. And they'll tack on 15 right there for unsportsmanlike conduct. Trying to hear the crowd. He can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. This crowd is dead silent. You can hear crickets, maybe, if you listen closely enough. Unbelievable blocking. Took him a little bit to get going there. And once he did, nobody was going to catch him. Colgate going play action. Going deep, overthrows his target, and it's picked off by Wilkerson at the 35-yard line. That is the third interception thrown by Colgate today. And all these mistakes are really costing them their chance at making it into the dynasty. As Wilkerson pitches it out to Peoples, and he almost gets it on a third and 18 play. My gosh. Fourth and two, though, they did punt the ball away. Colgate back on offense. Here is Ross over the middle, deflected away on third down. And that has been their luck. A wide open receiver. Defender comes out of nowhere, deflects it away. And here's Wilson on a halfback option. And nobody's going to even come close to him. Easy touchdown. Showboating a little too early there. 43 yard touchdown run puts the Dukes on top. 56 to 17 here in Hamilton. O'Donnell, backup quarterback coming in, throws a beautiful throw to Swain. And that was the best throw of the day for Colgate. And it unfortunately comes from the backup quarterback. Fourth and 18. O'Donnell looking to throw, goes left side, deflected away and picked off by Jones. And he is very dangerous, very fast. And they will not get him. Two defenders dive and miss. That is a pick six. That is his first stat of the game. 72-yard interception return for a touchdown. Another unfortunate play for Colgate. And now the Duquesne Dukes are on top 63-17 against the Colgate Raiders. The ensuing kickoff goes deep to Hughes from the two yards deep in the end zone. And he follows his blockers. Stays behind another one past midfield. Past the 40, defender cannot catch him, and Hughes is gone. And there is another clipping call. I feel so bad for Colgate. So many plays just went the opposite way for them today. And that is the final score, 63-17. to Duquesne moves on to round three to take on the North Dakota State Bison. And that's going to be a great game. Our next tournament game will be Valparaiso Crusaders traveling to take on the Bryant Bulldogs. That'll be out tomorrow 
or Friday. I'm really hoping it'll be tomorrow. But I'll see you guys then. Let you guys take a look at these stats. Take it easy, guys.